We have big breaking news out of Virginia tonight in the Commonwealth, where a new Fox News poll has Republican Glenn Youngkin surging ahead of Democrat Terry McAuliffe by a whopping eight points. Remember, this is a massive shift from just two weeks ago, where the same poll had McAuliffe up by five. And get this, we're also learning tonight about a major blunder from the McAuliffe campaign after they mistakenly emailed a Fox News journalist, quote, can we kill this? When they were inquiring about whether or not Terry McAuliffe hired attorney with questionable, oh, let's say, uh, background, with a questionable background, Mark Elias is a Clinton attorney, to possibly challenge election results, something both candidates said they wouldn't do. Now, there is clearly massive momentum behind Glenn Youngkin. Can a deep blue state like Virginia really turn red? Can Republicans turn out their voters and deliver a massive political upset? Here to make the case, Republican Virginia gubernatorial candidate Glenn Youngkin is uh, with us. Uh, it seems like a huge jump, statistically almost impossible. Uh, if that poll is accurate or close to accurate, that would mean late-breaking deciders are breaking hard for you. And with early voting seeming to be low and, and at your, you're at a pretty close level with McAuliffe, I would say that gives you an advantage. How are you feeling about it? We're feeling great, Sean. I mean, we're out on day six of our 10-day bus tour. The crowds are amazing. We just had a giant event in Augusta County. We had over 1,000 people. There's energy on this campaign. It's no longer a campaign. It's a momentum. It's, it is absolutely a movement. It's a movement to stand up for Virginians, for parents, and to reject government control. And Terry McAuliffe has demonstrated that he cares more about his own career than he does for Virginians. He wants to put government between parents and their children. And if he doesn't like the answer, then all of a sudden the FBI comes in and tries to silence him. This is our moment as Virginians to come together. We're winning the independent vote by double digits. We have Democrats walking across the aisle in droves. And what you're seeing in these polls is exactly what we're feeling on the road. You know, you, you look at all the people McCullough has brought in, unpopular Joe Biden, 35 percent, Kamala Harris, Stacey Abrams, uh, even Barack Obama. Uh, at Terry's own events, he seems to be getting more press appearing than people showing up for his events. I think the maximum crowd they had with Biden and Obama was less than 2,000. Um, and you're drawing huge crowds everywhere you go. So anecdotally, you're feeling good about it. How do you analyze the early voting? Yeah, so, there, so first of all, Terry McAuliffe's doing exactly what the playbook that he wrote as the godfather of the modern-day uh, Democratic Party would do, which is bring somebody else in. He's asked everybody to come in to campaign. If you've ever held office and won or, or didn't win, he's invited you to come in to take the spotlight off of his failed record as governor and his failure to lay forward an agenda that embraces Virginians. And I'll tell you, this early voting has been great. The turnout for us has been strong. The turnout for him has been weak. I mean, I've said it all along. The only person excited about Terry, Terry McAuliffe is Terry McAuliffe. And, Sean, the big thing is this race has become a national race. Virginians are voting for the nation. I get so many emails and, and texts every day. Our website at youngkinforgovernor.com is absolutely almost overwhelmed by folks coming in and being part of what is going to not just change the future of this great commonwealth of Virginia, but it's going to set a shock across the bow for the entire country that we're going to take our country back. So uh, a, one of our reporters for Fox News, I believe .com, says he's writing a story about McAuliffe hiring Mark Elias. Um, now, what's interesting about this, uh, a friend of this program, Jonathan Turley, tweeting out, uh, there are a host of election lawyers, but McAuliffe selected an attorney accused of lying to the media, advancing rejected conspiracy theories, currently involved in a major federal investigation that has already led to an indictment of his former partner. McAuliffe may be preparing to challenge any win by Glenn Youngkin. And the response was they didn't mean to do it, uh, but they write, can we get this story killed? Can we try to kill this? What is your reaction to the hiring of Elias? And the campaign uh, obviously feels that they have an in with certain media outlets that they can get stories killed. Well, first of all, this just is the exact playbook that Terry McAuliffe wrote for the modern day Democratic Party and his campaign is absolutely failing. I mean, the sun is setting on his 43 year political career. And by the way, they're not going to need lawyers because this isn't going to be close. 
what's happening in Virginia today with, with us winning independence by double digits and Democrats walking across the aisle and voting for us, this isn't going to be close, Sean. Virginians are making a big statement. We're making a statement that there's a new day ahead of us, low taxes, the best schools, the best jobs, safe communities, and a government that works for us and isn't telling us what to do all the time. Well, These are universal values, and Virginians are ready to step forward and make this race not even close. It really would be nice to have a governor that actually likes parental involvement in kids' education, age-appropriate materials being taught, CRT, uh, draconian measures as it relates to COVID, et cetera, et cetera, and not being lectured that they have no business uh, being involved in their children's education. I didn't think that was a very good line by McCullough. Uh, we're going to be watching very closely five days. Glenn Youngkin, thank you for being with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.